In this video, we're going to look at three different problems that involve forces and the formula force equals mass times acceleration. Pause the video now and try question one. So the key with all of these, these problems is to draw a diagram, label the forces, and then assess what equations you're going to need. So for this one here, we've got a lift and it's moving downwards and then it decelerates at 1.6 meters per second squared. So let's label on the forces. We obviously know there is uh, weight due to gravity acting on it. And we know that there is tension moving upwards. And then we know it's accelerating or decelerating at 1.6 meters per second squared. Find the tension in the cable while decelerating. So we need to use Newton's second law, the net force is mass times acceleration. What is the net force? Well, it's accelerating or decelerating upwards. So the net force is tension minus weight equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is therefore tension minus weight over mass. So if we plug in the numbers, oh, we want the tension. So I rearranged this wrong. So the tension is therefore the mass times acceleration plus the weight. And if I type this into my calculator, we should get the answer. The tension is 6,600 newtons. I'm just rounding up from this value. And then when the cable has stopped, what is the situation now? So when, not when the cable, when the lift has stopped. So we have our lift. There's no uh, acceleration. So we can literally say the force is a balance. So tension equals mass times gravity. So the tension is simply 575 times by 9.8. which is 5,600 newtons, so considerably less because it's not decelerating. So there is no additional upwards force to slow it down. Here is question two. Pause the video now and try this question. So again, let's do a simple diagram. We've got a rock, rocket, there is a thrust upwards, and there is weight downwards. Now it's accelerating upwards. So what's the resultant force? Because that's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. It's going to be the thrust, and here T is thrust, not tension, minus the weight is equal to 2 times 10 to the 4 times 1,000, because we want it in kilograms, times by 9... Uh, sorry, acceleration, which is 3.9. And tension is obviously going to be this plus the weight. So plus 2 times 10 to the 4 times 1,000 times by 9.8. Plug that into our calculator and we will get our answer. which you can see is 2.7 times 10 to the 8 newtons. So if it's accelerating upwards, the tension will always be, or the thrust or the force uh, will always be greater than it would be otherwise, because we need this extra force to overcome the weight. Okay, question three. Pause the video now and try this question. So here we have a slightly different situation. We have a car of mass 900 kilograms and it's pulling a trailer of mass 300 kilograms and it's accelerating from rest to a speed of 8 meters per second in a time of 50 seconds. So calculate the tension in the tow bar. So tension which is going to be this here is going to be equal to mass times acceleration. 
Now there's no friction or no air resistance going backwards, so we can ignore this. The force net is simply, mass times acceleration is simply the tension because there's no resistive forces. But here we have to work out the acceleration first. So we need to use one of our SUVAD equations to work out the acceleration. So we know the initial velocity is zero, the final velocity is eight, we know the time is 50 seconds and we want the acceleration. So acceleration is V minus U over T, which is eight over 50, which is 0 0.16 meters per second squared. So tension is mass times acceleration. Now the one mistake that it would be easy to make here is to use the wrong mass. So you can see I've chosen 300 kilograms because we're very much looking at the tension on the cable pulling the trailer. So this thing is accelerating at this speed or at this rate at the same rate as the whole thing. But the tension needed to accelerate this is the is only the tension needed to accelerate the mass of 300. We don't need to incorporate the rest of the mass because this cable is only putting 300 gram mass. So if we type this in, we will get our tension, which is 48 newtons. So this is part I. And then part II, the engine force. So now we need to use the force of the engine is mass times acceleration. Now we need to use the full mass because the engine is having to accelerate everything. It's accelerating both the car and the trailer. It's going to be the full 1,200 kilograms. So let's type that in and get our answer, 192 newtons. These might seem like really small forces, you know, 48 newtons to accelerate something that's, good, that's 300 kilograms. However, you have to bear in mind this acceleration is really small and we worked out this acceleration from the information given. We could do a quick check. We could uh, do our force divided by our mass and we'd get the same acceleration so we know that we are correct.